Hey everybody, I'm HexDSL, hello there. And I've realized that uh, I often talk about an application called Antimicro as if it's a magic cure-all for controller problems. And for me it is, but I realized I'd never made a video on it or really explain what it is. So a lot of people have been left scratching their head a little bit going, what are you talking about, Hex? Uh, so I thought I'd make a video explaining Antimicro, what it is and what it does. Won't take long, it's very straightforward. Um, first of all, Antimicro uh, takes uh, gamepad inputs and pretends they're keyboard inputs. That simple. You can get it from this GitHub page, or if you're on Archbase Distro, this AUR entry. Uh, very straightforward. This game is Hammerwatch. It does not work with this controller. Um, as you can see, there we go. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. You can see my controller's on. Well, you should be able to see my controller flashing. Uh, yeah, nothing at all. Doesn't do a damn thing in this game. Weird, right? Um, even if I select controller, it doesn't work with the 8 bit do controller. And this is NES 30. It's a retro style controller. I like it a lot, but uh, I did break the shoulder button. Not that's really relevant to anything, but uh, not that not that durable. But I've had it worn now, and I have hammered it, so maybe. Anyway, off topic. I want to use this controller for this game. How do I do that? Well, I uh, I load Anti Micro. Yay! There's Anti Micro loaded. Anti Micro is detecting my controller. I know that because it's put a tab here at the top. If I had more than one controller installed on this machine, installed, turned on on this machine, uh, they just detect over here. Like They just detect a separate tabs, and they just go to the tab of the one-on-one. -on -one. In this case, I've only got one attached, because this is what I'm doing. And now I want to map it to these controls. Well, these controls in this game is W, S, A, and D, and up to attack, which is an odd control system. A left to do a dash and right for another skill, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's very... Very odd control system, uh, but it's not a, not a problem to map it. We can click on each individual button and then click on the corresponding key press we want. Or in my mind, the faster way of doing it is to click on quick set. And then I just push left on the left on the D-pad and then push A. Push right on the D-pad, push D, up, W, down, S. We can do the same with the uh, with the analog stick as well. So up, down, left, right. And then I really want the uh, the the I really want the B button to be attack on this controller. So I'm going to press B, and it was the up arrow on, on there. And the other skill, the dash, was the left, and the fictional other skill we don't have is right. So okay, I've, I've mapped the basic controls of this game. I'm done. So now I can just click back in the game, and you can see. Look at this. See, works. Didn't work before. Now it works. That simple. Um, you don't need to keep anti micro there either. You can just minimize it. And enjoy your game full screen. It doesn't, as long as it's open, it doesn't care. And you have the option, you have options, of course, to save the get, to save, load, and make profiles. So if there's a game with loads of controls, set it up once with quick set, save it, you're done, and then just load it whenever you want to play it. Very straightforward. Let's have a little look, make sure this is working properly. Uh, there you go, done. This is working fine. Yeah, working fine. You can see uh, anti micro up there flashes whenever there's a key press, pressed because I'm using uh, the D pad to walk around, obviously. It, uh, it just case stays constantly pressed. Do you like the D-pad? The anti, the anti micro, the uh, the 8-bit do has an amazing, satisfying D-pad. One of the best D-pads ever produced in my mind. Um, the uh, I love the Steam controller, but the D-pad for that is shocking. The only thing it's really missing out on is the D-pad. No, we can go, yeah, our dash is working too. Just we'll just stand here and let them come to us. Yay! There's some food up there. Oh, they're, they're not rocks. They're evil things. Now, there are limitations to anti-micro. For instance, um, analog input. Like, I've mapped the uh, the analog control or the analog stick on this controller to the WSAD keys. Um, that means if I press it a little bit or a lot, it still registers as a single key press. It doesn't register the nuances of the analog, um, which for the types of games I actually play, for these types of games, and let's face it, this is what I play mostly, um, it's not something that worries me at all because I just like the feel of the stick to move my character in this case or the feel of the d-pad And I'm not really after that analog motion um, and that analog movement or the granular controls analog offers It's not something that's really relevant in games like this uh, However, if I was playing like a fighting game or even a third-person shooter it, uh, it could I could see it being a massive problem There are tweaks you can do and ways you can set it up, but honestly, it's probably not the best thing for setting up those sorts of those sorts of games but uh, for these little for retro games and for like like emulated games roms and stuff and for sort of these sorts of games i'm playing now this style of game um th it works absolutely perfectly but uh, it's just that say unfortunately you can't take the analog input it doesn't doesn't know how to do it but again that's fine but yeah that's into micro really useful because i wouldn't be able to play this game with a controller without it 
Um, and I can now. Well, I, I could come like a drunk and use a steam controller, but you know, that's a whole separate thing. And a lot of people don't like steam controllers. Yeah, this is this is how I do it. I don't even use profiles that much. I find I've got myself so sort of quick at doing the uh, the quick set. I just load up anti-micro, do a quick set in a few seconds, and then I can jump onto my controller out without any problems. Um, and I've played a lot with it. I mean, I've played like I've played through entire games using anti-micro, and I've never had a problem. I've never even had it. I've never had so much as a crash out of it. Sometimes, once I, when I was saving profiles regular, it sometimes didn't load my profile. But uh, that was the only sort of bug. I say bug. That was the only issue that I encountered. And, and that's not really a big one. Not really a big one at all. Um, because, again, I use quick set now anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But, ah, kill them things. Yeah, and also Hammer Watch is a great game. You should play Hammer Watch. It's, it's really fun. I haven't played it for ages. I forgot all the controls when I first opened it. It's been a while since I played it. But, uh, yeah, great game. Great game. Oh, and uh, yeah, the certain button. No, oh, look, it's picked up that already. Look, yay! Must have been one from earlier. But uh, a little map there. So yeah, that was uh, that was anti micro anyway. That's what it does. That's its whole function in life. And again, you can just minimise it up to here, and it's fine. And uh, oh, and uh, that's the other thing. If you uh, happen to have it out, out open, um, and then you turn your joystick on, uh, you a joypad controller item, whatever you want to set up with it, you just have to go uh, update joysticks there. You just have to go update joysticks there, and it will update everything plugged in. Um, and then, obviously, it wipes the settings. So if you've quick set, you haven't saved it. As soon as I hit update, it did update, and it would have found anything extra plugged in. But it also wipes your quick settings, which is a bit of a pain in the backside. But I think most people would set all this stuff up before trying to sit and enjoy the game. Probably something you don't need to mess with after that. And then, obviously, you just right-click and quit when you're done. That's anti-micro. It's great. I swear by it. It's like my favorite bloody application for this sort of thing. And it's uh, very easy to use. Thanks for watching. I've been HexDSL. Let me know what you think of anti-micro or if you use a different tool. Because there are other tools to the same job. Uh, anti-micro is just the one I like. And I kind of like the name. I think it's kind of interesting. I've been HexDSL. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye, guys.